In this section, you'll learn about Ether Channel, which can be used to bundle multiple physical interfaces into a single logical interface. I'll cover why we need Ether Channel, and spoiler alert, it's because of Spanning Tree. I'll also cover how the Ether Channel load balancing and redundancy works. You'll learn what all the different protocols are that are available for Ether Channel, how to configure and how to verify them. And then finally, we'll talk about another problem where if your switch is uplinking to two different switches for redundancy, even if you're using Ether Channel, Spanning Tree is going to cut your available bandwidth in half. Cisco do have some technologies that will avoid that though. That's StackWise, VSS and VPC. We'll cover an overview of those multi-chassis ether channel options in the last lecture.